Welcome back to 212 Kids. I am so glad that you guys chose to join us today as we continue with our theme, Bake Off Challenge. And we've been talking about how we need to learn patience. And we've been having so much fun learning patience and patience is something you definitely need when it comes to baking, but it's something that you're gonna need for the rest of your life. And remember, Here's what patience is. It's waiting until later for something that you want now. Now guys, I wanna tell you, today is actually a very special day, right? It's called Palm Sunday. And Palm Sunday is something that we celebrate every year because it's a chance for us to celebrate how Jesus came into the city of Jerusalem. And it's the Sunday right before our super special celebration of Easter, which is coming up so soon. Well, guys, today we're gonna have an awesome time talking more about these palm branches here in just a second. But first, let's do something that we love here at 212 Kids. Let's get up, let's tell God how much we love him and in some praise and worship. But before we do that, let's watch this. How well do you wait? I totally get it. Waiting is super hard. We all want things we can't have quite yet. To find out the grade you got on that math test, for mom to finish work so you can go for a bike ride together, for the microwave to dink so your popcorn's finally done. Whether you're waiting for four minutes or four months, it can seem like forever. It's tempting to grumble and whine. It's not fair. Nobody else has to wait this long. It can be tempting to jump ahead and try to get what you want without waiting. But trying to skip the wait usually leads to a mess. So take a deep breath and be patient. Ask God for help. Take the extra time to encourage a friend. And when the time is right, you can enjoy what you've been waiting on for so long. Yeah. When you wait without complaining, others can see God at work in you. That's why patience is an amazing way to worship God with your life. Because worship is about more than just singing loud. It's all about living loud.
That was awesome, guys. Well, remember, as I said earlier, we're talking about Palm Sunday today. And you're in luck because it's going to be awesome. I want to give you a little background first before we get into our Bible story. For hundreds of years, God's people have been waiting for a Savior. And every year, they had a special feast called the Passover. And the Israelites would celebrate at Passover how God had rescued them from Egypt, something we've talked before here at 212 Kids. And they looked forward to celebrating that time every year, and they looked forward to celebrating when the Savior would finally arrive. Now, when Jesus was born in Bethlehem, some people knew right away that he was the Savior, like his parents, Mary and Joseph. And as Jesus began to grow up, other people started noticing that he was the savior, right? And people heard his words. They would see the way that he would heal people. And they began to believe that, man, Mary really did have the son of God. And they believed that he might actually be the one that God was sending to save all of mankind. Well, Jesus had become so popular that when he got older, everywhere he went, people would follow him around to hear what he had to say and see what kind of miracles he was going to do. Well, when Jesus and his disciples came to Jerusalem right before he was going to go to the cross to celebrate Passover, many people had gathered to celebrate Passover together. And as Jesus and his friends walked toward the city... Jesus said this, he sent two of them ahead and he told them, go to the village ahead of you. As soon as you get there, you will find a donkey tied up. <coughs> That's right, a donkey. And her colt will be tied with her. Untie them and bring them to me. If anyone says anything to you, say the Lord needs them. Then the owner will send them right away. Well, the two disciples did exactly what Jesus said. They brought the donkey. <coughs> and the colt to Jesus right away. They also placed their coats on the donkey's back so Jesus would have a comfortable place to sit. You know, the disciples didn't know it at the time, but they were actually fulfilling a prophecy that had been written by the prophet Zechariah hundreds of years before. And here's what it says. In Zechariah chapter 9, verse 9, it says this, People of Jerusalem, shout, See your king comes to you. He always does what is right. He has won the victory. He is humble and riding on a donkey. He is sitting on a donkey's colt. Wow, that is pretty amazing, right? The words of Zechariah were actually coming true. And all these people got to witness that Zechariah had a prophecy that was coming true. So you know what they did? It said that they did exactly what Zechariah said. They began to cheer. Right? They would cheer because Zechariah had predicted that the Savior was coming and he was going to be riding in on a donkey. Donkey! And sure enough, that's exactly what happened. Well, as Jesus rode into Jerusalem, the whole crowd began to wave their palm branches and they would spread their coats on the ground in front of him. They would cut down more palm branches and they begin to wave those ahead of Jesus. And as they did this, they would shout. That's right, Hosanna. They'd shout, Hosanna. Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. The people had a huge celebration and it was all to honor Jesus. They knew that he was the savior who had come to rescue them. But not everybody was happy with all of this celebration. The religious leaders, they, they saw the people praising and cheering and worshiping God, and they began to grumble. I don't know, I stole from everything. That's right. These leaders didn't believe that Jesus was the Son of God, the one that God had sent to be the Savior. They seemed to think that the whole world was following him, and they said this to Jesus. They said, teacher, tell your disciples to stop. But Jesus told them, I tell you, if they keep quiet, the stones will cry out. And you know what that means? That's right, they began to cheer. This was a celebration. It was nothing that was gonna stop God's plan from coming true. And God did have an amazing plan. And we're gonna see what that was next week because it's Easter Sunday. 
Well, guys, the religious leaders, they had studied the scriptures and they had waited their whole lives for the Savior to come, but they didn't recognize him when he showed up. They didn't recognize that Jesus was the Savior, even though he's right in front of their faces. They had a chance to worship and celebrate Jesus just like everyone else did, but unfortunately, they let the chance pass them by. Which brings us to our bottom line, and it's something that's important for us to remember. It's this. You can celebrate even when you're waiting. You know, even when you're tired of waiting, even when you get impatient, you can still celebrate. You can still see the good that God is doing in your life while you wait. Guys, let's do this. Let's stop. Let's pray. And let's ask God to help us to celebrate even when we're waiting. God, we thank you for your word today. We thank you, God, that as we saw in the story, that, Father, we can still worship and celebrate while we're waiting on you to do amazing things in our lives. God, we know that you have a plan and a purpose for each one of us. And, God, sometimes we can get impatient waiting for you to do what we want you to do. But, God, I thank you that you're going to help us to trust in you always and to celebrate even while we're waiting because, God, we know that you're good. We thank you for this, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Hey, Neil, do you want to go and play on the playground? No. I can't wait to be a little older. I want to be a race car driver. I can't wait to be a little stronger. I want to be a firefighter. So many things that I can grow up to be. Right now, I, I don't want to miss, don't want to miss what's awaiting here for me. Oh, oh. Looking all around me, oh, oh. I got everything I need. Oh, oh. I'm not going to rush because I'm right where I'm supposed to be. Oh, oh. I'm living in the moment oh, oh. with my hopes and all my dreams. Oh, oh. I'm not going to rush because I'm right where I'm supposed to be. Well, guys, I cannot believe that those religious leaders let the opportunity pass them by and didn't celebrate Jesus when everyone else was. They missed out on a huge party because they didn't see what God was doing right among them. They couldn't see that Jesus was the Savior that God was sending. 
Guys, the truth is this, is that God is always working in our lives. And instead of focusing on what we're missing out on, we need to focus and celebrate what God is doing in our lives right now. And remember, here's our bottom line tonight, that you can celebrate even when you're waiting right? None of us like to wait. We know that. All of us get impatient. All of us go through difficult and tough times, but through those times, we can see how God is helping us to grow stronger in our faith, that we can see how good God is, and it's important that we learn to trust him and get us through those difficult times. Guys, even if the things around you aren't the way you necessarily want them to be right now, you can still celebrate all the good that God is doing in your life. You can celebrate all the, God, the good stuff that God has done in your past and all of the good things that he's going to do in your future because he has a plan and a purpose for you. And guys, remember this. You can trust God no matter what. You can trust him while you're waiting. You can trust him while you're worried. You can trust him that he's going to do amazing things in your life. And you can believe that God, he has amazing things for you and he's going to do big things even while you're waiting. Well, guys, that's it for this week. I cannot believe that the month of March is already over. And next week, 1st of April, the first Sunday in April is Easter. We're going to have an amazing time and I want to make sure you're there with us. So we'll see you next week here at 212 Kids. Well, guys, be sure to click here to watch another episode of 212 Kids and click this button to subscribe so you don't miss any of our upcoming episodes. We'll see you next time.